So as of now, I hope that you all are comfortable enough of creating the component, nested component and creating a separate template or a separate HTML file with the component of Angular. So as we saw, like when you create a separate HTML file, we require the template URL decorator in order to specify the path of that particular HTML. And as soon as that particular component is, component is used, that particular HTML will be rendered over the browser. Now, the next requirement is to give these styles to your component. So if it's about the styling, it's about the style sheets. So we will see the different ways of putting these styles in your components. Like the first thing is the normal, the default styles.css, which we already have in our module. We will show you in the practical implementation. Apart from that, if you want, you can create a separate style sheet for your component, right? Like you have employee component, so you can create a separate style sheet for your employee component itself. And that will not be applied to any other component. Similarly, you can put the inline style sheets as well. So when you put any HTML, you can put the style attribute and as normal, we pass the style sheet attributes out there in line. You can do in the same way. So let's see a practical implementation of all the different ways of putting these styles to your template. So as far as the styling of the component is concerned, in some way we are already using some styles. As here you can see, when there is an H1 tag, it is not coming in the default color and text. So let's see how this particular style is modifying this output. So for that, what I'll do, I will just come to this index.html where I am putting the main structure of this particular document and right there you can see there is a link available relation style sheet href styles.css so for that let me just jump to our directory and we'll come to the src where I will be able to see this styles.css let me just open that with the notepad and here you can see the color, font family and font size, everything is available. So if you want, you can just make some further changes out there so that that can be shown in the browser. Let me just remove this hash. All right, now it will work. So here you can see the blue color heading is available. So basically, if you want to make any of the document style sheets, you can start putting them all here. For example, if I want to put it for the table as right after that I have added this table so for that what you can do if you want to change the color like I want to put the font as green so here you can see the font color is changed to green similarly I have added a couple of more styles here for the table and the TD so that I will be able to see the borders of the table so as here you can see now there is a table and there are borders as well. So what I have done, I have just used table where border collapse is set and for the TD, I have set the border width way means the solid or dotted dash which kind of border and the color of it. So this is why you will be able to see these borders out there in the output. Now, similarly, if you want, you can do all the changes out here in this style sheet and those will be reflected to the any component which will be put out there. But in case you want to put some specific style sheet for the specific component, that can also be done. So for that, what I'll do is, let's come back to our directory. In the employee, here you can see I have created one employee component.css, all right? So what I have done here is for this particular component only, I want that the table means the font of the table should also come in blue color. But it will not be reflected for the any other component if that will be there. So how will I apply this particular style in my component? For that, I'll have to come to employee component.ts and right there, as you can see the couple of decorators like selector and template URL, I will add one more thing that is style URLs, all right? So style URLs, as the name says, it's URLs, means multiple style sheet can be taken here. So it will be in form of the array. 
So I will put this square bracket and inside that I will put the path of my CSS file which is the same. So I'll just copy paste and will change the extension so it is .css. So now let's come back to the browser and here you can see the text of this particular table is also changed. So let me do some other changes as well so that it can be clear. So let's change it from blue to green and here you can see the text color is changed to green. So as here you can see the color of heading is coming in blue but it is because of this main style sheet. But suppose if I have any heading for this particular employee I can do that as well. So for any heading which will be put in this particular employee component what we will do is we will change the color of that particular heading to green. So by default the heading here is of blue color but it is not in employee component it is coming from the app component so it will not be affected but if I will add any heading out here like h1 emp detail all right so let me just save it and come to the browser and here you can see it is coming purely in green color because this particular heading is in the employee component and for this one I have imported this style sheet which will just work for this component only. If you don't have to put multiple or so many styles out there you can do one more thing you can just change this style URLs to styles. So you will be able to write all these styles out here itself. So now you can see it is coming in blue which is the default one alright. So what I'll do I will just come here and we'll do a bit changes. So what I'll do is I will start writing my style rules out here itself. So here for H1 color is green font family is monotype Corsiva. So let's save these changes come to the browser and here you can see these styles are applied. Similarly if you want to put another just pass one space out here and start writing for some other text like h2 color green font family Arial. So if I will put some heading 2 out there in the HTML let's put the same to the HTML h2 so here this is changed to Arial font all right so this is how you can change the style of each component either by passing the styles directly to the decorator of the specific component or just add your all the styles in the main styles.css which will be applied to all the uh, components of the angular module